What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the newest, I guess you would say, map that's supposed to be coming into Warzone that is, uh, I guess going to be thick now, because, uh, today marks the one year anniversary of Warzone releasing, as you guys can see, March 10th, 2020 was the actual day that Warzone was released, and it says, now see where the next year takes us, but first, where we drop him. Now yesterday, I don't know if you guys caught wind of this, or actually saw this in your stores or not, but they also released a very thick version of the uh, Stitch skin that also contained 2400 COD points, and all this other cool stuff, like an FFAR variant, an RPD variant, but let's just look at this thick character really quick, alright? My man's is so thick. Look at his thighs. Look at his waist. Look at his shoulders. My man is thick, bro. My man been eating healthy. So, for them to release this between the one year anniversary, you gotta do some little like brain math and stuff like that. This is pointing towards a very thick year for Warzone. So hopefully this is pointing towards a very thick you know, bunch new of operators, stuff like that, coming into Warzone. Because somebody this thick coming into Warzone before the one year anniversary only points towards more thick things happening in Warzone. I'm pronouncing thick like crazy. But anyways, as you guys can, as you guys can see on the Outbreak event, it only has 22 hours left. Now, a lot of people are speculating that stuff is going to be happening on the Warzone map. Now, they're thinking either zombies are going to flood the entire map on Warzone tomorrow on March 11th or even on March 12th. They're thinking that something's going to end up happening to the Warzone map. Now, some people are also speculating that the map's going to be getting nuked on March 11th or March 12th, but I honestly think it's too early for that. I think if they're going to be doing that, it's going to be probably at the end of the season launching into season three so they have more stuff to be saying hey look guys we've got new content i know we don't really come up with really good new content nowadays but we're gonna you know ride out warzone and we're gonna say this new map is our new content for season three because our games now they suck except for warzone but anyways even warzone's kind of iffy i don't know I don't, anyways but um if i'm being honest with you guys what i think's gonna end up happening to the map I feel like zombies are going to infiltrate the entire map. I feel like eventually it's going to come to a point to where by the end of the season, they're probably going to take over each location on the map until they're pretty much surrounding the entire map. And then at that point, you're going to have to quote unquote extract the actual map before they nuke it because they have to get rid of the outbreak. Now, in my opinion, what I think is going to happen on March 11th, the zombies are probably going to move away from the shipwreck, and they're probably going to be going towards probably port or even farmland, maybe even to both of those locations, even prison maybe. Now, they did also post on their Instagram saying that they did catch wind of zombies leaving the ship. That was a video that they posted from a news anchor little type thing. It was a little skit that they did for uh, Warzone, but it was showing the zombies leaving the ship. So that also does point to the zombies leaving the ship and moving on to, which, I guess you'd say, different locations on the map. So I want you guys to tell me down in the comments if you guys are really excited about the new changes coming to Warzone, and if you guys are actually more excited about, you know, more thick operators. Because honestly, if I'm being completely realistic with you, this thick boy right here deserves some more love. And honestly, I think you guys should tell me down in the comments if I should make a thick video over this boy right here. But once again, guys, peace.